Hi Virginia. So um, first lesson there uh, yesterday. So we just did two chords and a little bit of the other stuff as well. So since the chords are by far the most important thing, we're just going to go over those first. All right. So first one we did E minor. So we'll just go over the kind of um, housekeeping things, you know, kind of rule of thumb and all that. All right. So again, we've got for this one, we've got first finger, second fret on the fifth string. Okay. And now normally, remember I was saying you always want to have your finger right behind the fret. So if we're on the second fret here, that should be right behind that second fret here, okay? But since the next finger is coming in right beside it, we need to make room for that. So maybe about halfway down, then middle finger comes in fourth string on that same fret, the second fret, or behind that fret, okay? So at least your middle finger should be right up to the fret. Now again, Good posture with your hand, okay? So you want your um, your fingers coming right down on the string, so no slant or anything like that, okay? It should be... So this last part of your finger here, after this joint, that should be coming straight down, perpendicular pretty much to the uh, to the fretboard, okay? So straight down, kind of curve your, your hand out the way, and as well, don't have it sort of scrunched in like this either, because then... Chord might be fine, but then that last string, your hand is going to be making contact with it there. So you need to just bring it up and out. So it should all be sort of standing up, good posture. All right, and loads of pressure. You know, you really need to squeeze them down there to get the note out, which kind kind of does hurt a little bit at first. But as I said, your fingers kind of callous up and get hard, and you know, it doesn't really hurt all that much anymore. So that was the first one, E minor. So that's first finger, second fret on the fifth string, second finger second fret as well on the fourth string and you're using all the strings for that one okay and remember as well one string at a time nice and steady go through them really slow and if you're getting anything like any of that or sort of maybe something that kind of buzzy sound just make those little adjustments make sure you're plenty of pressure make sure the angle is good make sure you're right up to that fret okay and you know Move your wrist and elbow around as well, because that can make getting that angle a little bit easier, you know? Okay, so next chord then was A minor 7. So not, not really a basic one, but it's a nice one to go to from E minor. So just to kind of get you moving on those chords, all right? So we're going E minor, middle finger, second finger stays where it is, okay, right there. First finger comes back here. That's first fret on the second string. And for this one, you can start off from the fifth string. So leave, leave this one out of it. And again, one at a time. And just move back and forward between the two. Don't worry. So we didn't do very much on rhythm. Okay, so don't worry about that for now, right? Just one strum each. Back and forward. Okay, just go back and forward on them, all right? Eventually, muscle memory will start to take over and you really don't have to think about it very much um, in future. So then the other little thing we did was I just showed you a part of what's called the pentatonic scale. Okay, so this is just to get you sort of playing individual notes. Okay, so we're going open G string, open third string. And then on that same string, we're going to take it on the second fret. There, okay, so that's open G. Second fret. Then on the next two, we're doing the same thing, only we're going up to the third fret, okay? You can use your middle finger for that one, okay? So for now, just see if you can do that nice and smooth, all in, you know, six notes, one right after the other. So open G, second fret, open B, third fret, open E, third fret as well. All right? So that's third string. Fret, second string, open first, third fret, first string, open first, third fret as well. But the most important thing is the chords, okay? So um, so just get that whole motion down, okay? And then we'll may maybe do another another two or so next time, all right? Back, just back and forward, back and forward, and always check it, always kind of go one at a time, just to make sure you're getting them all out. All right.
See you next time.